What's up guys, TK here at Jet Tactical, and uh, I wanted to go over one of my personal guns that I have in my arsenal. Uh, so to start off, I'll let you guys know, this is a pretty much just a standard D-Boys full metal M4. Um, I haven't done a lot internally to this gun, it's pretty much stock. Uh, I do have a Type 4 barrel inside, uh, and also I do believe I have a G&G green uh, bucking inside. Um, but, you know, that's pretty much all it is for the internals. Now the externals is pretty much what I focused on for this guy. So starting from the back, I have a CAR-15 style stock instead of the normal crane stocks that you see on a lot of M4s. Uh, I like this stock just because it's more air appropriate. I was going for kind of like an early 2000s Grenadier loadout uh, impression gun. Um, and I'll get more into that later because this gun technically isn't finished yet. But that's why I went with the CAR-15 stock. Also, I think it looks pretty cool. And it's a little smaller frame. It's a little more comfortable when you shoulder it. So that's why I went with that guy over a uh, CAR-15, or over a um, crane stock or a um, LE stock. Uh, moving forward, I have a EOTech um, on here. Uh, just This is just standard EOTech. Uh, there's nothing really special. Uh, you can't really find these unless you buy a real one. Uh, I was able to get this from a friend. Uh, and you know he was really gracious enough to give let me have that. Uh, then full, moving up forward, obviously the biggest you know thing that you see on this guy is the 203 launcher. Uh, this is the classic Army 203 launcher. You see right there. Um, this thing is really cool. It's really reliable. It's full metal. Um, this was tan when I got it, so that's why uh, it looks kind of dusted. I like the black look, so I kind of removed all the paint as much as I could. Um, you have a standard D-Boys grenade launcher or grenade shell inside. I usually load up myself with either anywhere between uh, t mm, 6 to 12 shells when I do run this gun. Uh, so it is kind of an expensive build because you need to buy the grenade and then the, sh or the, the grenade launcher and the shells separately. So uh, it can be kind of expensive to run. But uh, moving on, I do have this uh, PEC-16. or PEC 16. This is the TAC-9. PEC-16. Uh, these things are really cool. It has a illumination. Oops. has illumination. Just, uh, you know, your visible uh, visible lights. And I have a blue nav light, infrared laser, and a visible red laser. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I like to... I mess it on the side like this because when you have the 203, uh, you want to be able to actuate your release valve, your release button right here. So if this was on this side, It'd be really hard to get to, so I mounted on the right side, and uh, you know I sw swapped out the uh, orange flash hider with a standard bird cage steel flash hider just to complete that overall look. Uh, but anyway, thanks you guys for watching. This is my one of the first guns that I'm going to do in my arsenal video or video series, and I uh, hope you guys liked it. See you guys later.